Hi, welcome to the NCTV editing tutorial uh, using Adobe Premiere Creative Cloud. We're just going to show you how to set up a project to start it up. We're just assuming you have some footage and you want to edit it. So here we go. I'm just going to go up to my spotlight and type in Premiere. And there it is. So we're going to open up Premiere. So here it is. Um, this is the opening box that it always starts with. And so we're just going to start a new project. Pretty basic. And um, we're going to call this the NCTV editing tutorial and um, so this is like a really crucial step is to make sure all your files are saved in the same spot um, if they're not the files can go offline when you're working and then it, it becomes a hassle to, to find them again if you're working on different computers yada 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 so um, we're gonna choose our location right here by just clicking browse and you'll see that it's auto saving to our documents folder um, which is not what we want we have an external hard drive right here and um, you'll see we already created a folder for NCTV tutorials, NCTV editing tutorial. And um, so we're going to save everything into this folder so that if we ever need to work on a different computer or pull something up, um, it'll all be there and ready for us. So there we go. Click choose. Um, and then you have to click scratch disks after that. And you'll see that none of this is saved to that same folder. So we need to save it all to the same folder. So here it is. NCTV tutorials, NCTV editing tutorial, all coming off the G drive. Click choose, and after you set this first one, it'll default the rest. So I'm just going to click enter, browse, enter, browse, enter, browse, enter, and then we click OK. So here's Premiere, and um, there's nothing here because we haven't um, started a sequence yet. If we go down here into our project, this is where all of our items get stored um, and we have no items in here yet so if we go to file and we go to new we're going to want a new sequence um, which is also command n um, and it'll bring us to this and this can be really intimidating and confusing to somebody who's not used to editing but we're not going to concern ourselves with any of the presets or anything that's going on we're just going to name it and there it is and we're just going to click ok that's it we named it, and here we go. Now we're starting to see the program open itself up. So here it is, NCTV editing tutorial, and you'll see here it says 25 frames per second, which is not what we shot in at all. Um, but um, what I'm going to show you right now is going to fix all of that. So I'm, I have to bring in my footage. So in here I have um, an event from the Nantucket Film Festival from last year, and it's called the Cine Institute Teen View Program, right here. And um, I have everything stored in this media folder. So I have a, it's a three camera shoot, and I have all of the camera's um, information right here. So I'm just going to take this whole media folder and drag and drop it. So here it is. And um, here are all my cameras. So I happen to know that the ones that start with EX here um, are my wide shot. So I'm just going to take a clip that represents the entire project. So this wide shot is filmed in the format that I want. And um, I want to work on my whole project um, at its best quality, which is um, what this camera was shot at. So I just drag it in. Here it is. I just let go. And this dialog box pops up. And uh, it's saying that the sequence settings that we chose don't match the sequence settings of the clip. But we want the sequence to match the clip that we just brought in. And it'll only ask you this once, so this is a very important step. It, once you click Change Sequence Settings, now my sequence is perfectly matched to my, to my clip. So there we go. We have a project started. And uh, I'm just going to drag this out so you can see the whole timeline. There it is. And we're just going to save it. So. If you go up to File, Save As, here we are, the NCTV editing tutorial. Looks like it auto-saved already in this in this folder, and we're you know, on our G drive, and everything's good. Click Save, replace the file that it auto-saved. There we go. We've started the project. Hope this was helpful to get you on your way, and um, check back with us for some more tutorials, a little more in-depth on how else to use this software. Thanks.